In this video, I'll teach you how to split test your product offering in Shopify in 2025 and beyond. So before we jump into the video, let's first talk about what is A-B testing and why you should implement this to your store. So A-B testing or split testing is basically a form of experiment where you send half of your traffic to one version of your website, let's call it version A, and the rest of the traffic to a different version of your website, let's call it version B. Then you compare the results from both of them to decide on the winning version, then keeping this version as your day-to-day -day version on the website when people will visit your website. Now, of course, you can also split to multiple versions like A, B, and C, but it really depends on the amount of traffic you're getting. It requires a lot of traffic to really figure out the winning version, so it's better to just start with two, and if you have tons of traffic, then you can split up multiple versions of your website. Now, in terms of KPIs, you want to measure everything from revenue, profit, conversion rate to figure out the winning version. You might have version A that converts at 20% and the revenue generated from it is, I don't know, $20 and the profit from it is $10, okay? And on the other hand, you're gonna have version B, which have, let's say, 15% conversion rate, which is much lower, but the revenue you generate out of it is $100 per conversion and the profit out of it is like $50. So version B in this case is much better, even though the conversion rate is much lower. Now, one other thing that I want to mention before we jump into my screen is I just want you to remember the golden rule. You should always follow this in your e-commerce journey. It doesn't matter if it's your email marketing, if it's your Facebook ads or Google ads, or if it's your store itself, is just always be testing. You always want to run some sort of an A-B test between your different versions of your website. It can be between different type of ads or different type of emails or subject lines or specifically for the offers on your store. You really want to optimize this for the long run. All right, so let's just jump into my screen. I'll show you how to split test your offers in 2025 and beyond. So here I am in my Shopify dashboard. And of course, for the sake of this video, we're going to use Reconvert as our offering tool. So this is a demo store. As you can see, I have no analytics in here. I'm gonna head over to the Flow Builder. This is where we customize all of our offers. And if you want to learn more about the Flow Builder, there's a help video right over here. First, we're going to select the page that we want to test. Now let's say that I want to test my offer on the thank you page, okay? So I'm just gonna head over to the thank you page in terms of conditions. Again, if you wanna learn more about conditions, this is where you can display specific offers to specific customers based on specific conditions or parameters, but I'm not gonna cover that in this video. Once I've selected the condition, in this case, the default condition that I'm going to show to all customers, then I'm gonna have my slots. The slots are the groups of widgets that I'm gonna place within the Shopify editor, all right? So I'm just gonna click here on this default slot that I have. You can see here that I can create the A-B test right from the flow builder, but I want to actually go ahead and edit the widgets inside to see what we have. All right, so what I can see that we have here is just product recommendations, product recommendations themselves. We have multiple products, four products per row, and then we have a discount of 20%. So very basic offering, okay? And let's see what it looks like on my actual Shopify store. So I'm just gonna head over to the Shopify editor and I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna have a reconvert custom slot number one. And I'm gonna hit save. And perfect, here is my product carousel. Looks good. I like it. Now, let's say that I want to split test this offer. Right now, it says 20%. Let's say that I want to test it with a 10% discount. The A-B test can be as simple as that. So let's say I'm just going to head over to this slot and I'm just going to create an A-B test. So now what Reconvert is going to do is we're going to basically duplicate the original variant and we're going to have now two variants. We're going to have variant A and variant B and the split between them is going to be 50%. So 50% of the traffic is going to go to version A and 50% of the traffic is going to go to version B. Now, let's Let's say that I want to highlight in this case that I'm going to give them 10% discount, all right? And I'm going to change the discount itself to 10% instead of 20. So the A-B test can be as simple as that. And now 50% of my traffic is going to go to version B, 50% of the traffic are going to go to version A. Now I'm going to close this. Now let's say that I know that 20% works for me and I just want to change the weight so that only 30% are going to go to my new version B. Okay, so I'm just going to change that to 30%. You can see here that automatically version A gets the 70%. And now if I'm going to refresh this page and now you can see that other than the default condition that I can view I can also see the variant that I'm actually viewing right now so right now I'm looking at version A and I can switch between the variants to see what it's going to look like for version B 
All right, you see the title changed and the discount changed to 10% instead of 20%. So that's kind of a basic type of A-B test that you can do. But let's say that now I wanna go for something that is a little bit heavier. Let's say that instead of just changing the discount, I wanna change the entire widget, okay? I wanna offer, let's say, a bundle instead, okay? So I'm just gonna remove this entire thing and I'm gonna add a bundle. So let's just add this bundle, all right? I'm gonna keep it as it is. I'm not gonna change anything. Specifically, like pick three random product. Let's see if it works. So now, if I'm gonna, again, refresh the page. All right, so now we got version A here with 20% discount of these products. And if we're going to change to variant B, now we're gonna have a bundle of these three products going well with this one. So again, if you really wanna split test your offers and see, find the thing that works for you, you can really go ahead and do that. Of course, if you don't have such a high order volume, I wouldn't recommend getting started. Maybe if you have more than 100 orders per month, you can start playing with it and, and maybe get some results, but it's gonna take some time. Eventually we're talking about conversion right here. And if you wanna edit any of the variant directly, directly from the Shopify editor, you can just click here to edit the variant. It's gonna open up this page right over here. Okay, now, of course, this is something that you can do throughout the entire reconvert funnel. It doesn't have to be just the thank you page. If you wanna make a split test on your entire post-purchase page, for example, you can do the exact same thing over here. So right now I have this post-purchase page where I just give 30% off one product and then they have product recommendations. So that's kind of nice. And then below that, we're gonna have this nice bundle, okay? I can create another A-B test for the entire page so that 50% will show this entire offer and then 50% will show something else. So let's just do this and show you what it's going to look like. All right, so let's say that for the second offer, I don't wanna have the recommendations. Just wanna remove that, remove all the recommendations. And I also wanna remove the product at the top. I just want to have the bundle, just the bundle itself. So let's just uh, remove that, remove all the middle parts that we had. And I just want to tell them bundle and save 30%. Good enough for me. We can remove this title now because we don't really need it. And we have this before you go, special offer for you, bundle and save. All right, looks good. Bundle and save 30%. Looks good to me. I think this is kind of good version. So now I'm going to hit save. And now we're going to have two post-purchase offers. One of them is going to see this entire higher page with a lot of offers. And the second one is just going to see the bundle. Now, I really don't know which one is going to convert better. I don't know, but the only way to actually find out is to run the test and let the results speak for themselves. Now, let's say that you run this test and it's been running for a month and you're going back to the flow builder. How do you find out which is the winning version? So luckily for you, we made the analytics super easy to figure out and understand which is your winning version. So I'm going to go back to my thank you page and I'm going to select the default condition and slot number one with the A-B test that we ran before. Again, comparing between a bundle and a 20% discount of a few recommended product. Of course, since this is a development store, no traffic has been running through my funnel, but if I click here, I'm gonna be able to see exactly the revenue, impressions, clicks, impressions, conversion rate running through each one of my variants. I can do the same to variant A. And if I wanna see even deeper, if I have multiple widgets in each variant, I can also expand the widget section and see how each specific product or widget was performing. All right, guys, so this is everything you need to know about A-B testing for your Shopify store in 2025 and beyond. Good luck, keep crushing it, always be testing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.